Hi, I'm Rob Brenda. Today I'll be talking about seven dimensions of the universe. The first dimension is 2D, it's called the second dimension. The second dimension is width and height. The third dimension is width, height and depth, which is known as space. The fourth dimension is time and space. It's also known as the known physical universe. The fifth dimension is called limbo or the astral plane or the paranormal space. There are two parts in the fifth dimension. One is the ghost world. The ghost world is when a soul uh, is unsettled, is either gone through a suicide or a very fatal accident or violent death. He doesn't know that he's dead. So he hangs around and he tries to help other people uh, if it's a good spirit or it's a bad spirit, it will try to haunt other people. That is the ghost world. The second one is hell. Now, if a soul has done very, very bad karma, say he is a war criminal, he's killed thousands of people with his own directions. Now, uh, in a normal situation, in one lifetime, even one lifetime or a few lifetimes, will not be able to clear all this bad karma that is created in that one lifetime. So when that happens, he may have to go to hell. So hell is not a physical place. It is just that the soul will experience suffering through the five subtle senses. For instance, he may hear himself talking all the bad things or the curses he said to other people, or it see himself uh, committing suicide many times and regretting it, or it may feel really unhappy and all the hurt that is done in his lifetime. Just like humans, ghosts also emit bad smells, they may create uneasy feelings. Sometimes ghosts may come as a fleeting image, you know, like it passes very quickly, or they may, they may produce eerie, creepy sounds, very unearthly sounds, or they may create a bad taste in your tongue or in your mouth. These are actually signs of afterlife or signs of ghosts in the presence. Sometimes hell is described as the eternal fires of hell. Actually, there's no such thing. Uh, just like in the physical world, if you burn your hand in a fire, you can only burn it for one minute. After that, your hand is dead. You cannot feel anymore. So it doesn't make sense that you're burning eternally and you don't feel anything. It doesn't make any sense at all. So therefore, I don't believe there's an eternal fires of hell. Neither is there coal, neither is there drowning. Neither is there physical, eternal punishment. It's just that you will suffer uh, through the five subtle senses. The sixth dimension is actually the afterlife. It's actually where the guardian angels preside or the archangels. It's called the angelic realm. This is where your loved ones may send you messages, may visit you in form of dreams. They may also give you afterlife signs, premonition, for an accident impending disaster. So these are all kind of what we call divine intervention. The seventh dimension is called the before life. It's also known as the soul universe or nirvana, which means a state of nothingness, or some people call it moksha. They're kind of all similar. So in this seventh dimension, there is no human body. Therefore, there's no human activity. Therefore, there's no karma. There's some bad news for jihadis who believe that there are 72 virgins waiting for them, there is absolutely no sex, no eating, no any activity in the seventh dimension. There is activity, subtle activities in the sixth dimension, which is what people call heaven or paradise. So what's the meaning of rest in peace or, or crossover as I call it? When you say a person is uh, rest in peace, it means that the soul has left the body and has gone from fourth dimension to the sixth and seventh dimension. Or if the person goes to the fifth dimension, it's not called rest in peace because the soul is under punishment. The soul is a ghost, so therefore it's not rest in peace. The return of karma exists in the fourth and also in the fifth dimension in the form of hell. There is no karma in the sixth and seventh dimension. These are some FAQs of the seven dimensions of the universe. Question number one is, where is God in the seventh dimension? Well, He is omnipresent, that means present everywhere, or He is not present anywhere. So God is not limited by any time and space, or a fourth dimension, or any dimension. He's not governed by 
by the, the sixth dimension, the angelic realm, or the soul world, He's, uh, the soul universe. He is not governed by any of the dimensions. That's why no human, no soul, or no f angel can be God. There are four types of channel spirits. The first type is good and bad possessing ghosts. A ghost is one that is unsettled, maybe through some trauma or some accident or suicide. It, he's not crossed over to the sixth and seventh dimension. So it's hanging around. It, the soul actually doesn't even know it's dead. So therefore, it may try to enter a body of another soul. So just like in humans, they are good, bad, ugly and beautiful humans. They're so good, bad, ugly and beautiful uh, ghosts, uh, which tries to enter another body. At rare times, you may find that a body may have multiple possessions of spirits or ghosts. It's possible. Now, a word of warning. Do not try to exercise uh, a person that's possessed by multiple ghosts, especially black magic ghosts. Uh, do not try this. It's not really meant for you. This one, you really have to consult with religious people that are specialized of exorcism. The second is channel good entity or good angel. For instance, example number one is Angel Moroni entered Joseph Smith and established the Mormon religion. The second example is Angel Gabriel gave revelations to Muhammad who established Islam. The third is a channel fallen angel or fallen twin soul. A fallen angel or fallen twin soul is one that is, that is fallen from light to darkness. So a fallen angel or fallen twin soul have very specific roles. In fact, they have very important roles. Just like Judas played an important role of betraying Christ, they also have a very important, a, a bit is a negative role, but they have an important role to play. One role is they may establish a new religion or a new cult. Another is they may create a massive big karmic debt for for the followers or students to settle the, those bad karma. Because of the cult isolation, the brainwashing, the policing, and very strict discipline, it's actually a form of punishment, a form of discipline. So therefore, joining those cults that is controlled by fallen angels or fallen twin souls, you're actually paying off your bad karmic debt. You can read about the 27 big karmic debts and one of them is religious karmic debts. In fact, it's a, one of the biggest karmic debts. It could be one of the three big karmic debts that, that you have to pay. It's definitely in my case when I have to pay my own karmic debt uh, when I join some religious cults. Example number one, founder soul Shiva Baba entered Brahma Baba's body. When Brahma Baba died in 1969, they combined into the twin soul known as Babdada and they entered the body of Daddy Goza. So this is how it works. Another example is, I believe that a fallen angel is influencing the founder of Isis, who is called Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. He was known to be a very shy, very introverted, very unimpressive religious scholar, but certainly became this ruthless, this dynamic religious founder. I believe that a fallen angel or even a fallen twin soul may be influencing the founder of ISIS, and the followers are paying a heavy price by joining a cult like ISIS. For all religious founders, are either twin souls or triple souls. For instance, uh, the founder soul of Buddha entered the prince Sihata and founded Buddhism. The second example is Christianity, is triple souls. So the founder soul Christ, which is God the Father, together with the angelic soul, which is God the Holy Spirit, entered the body of, of Jesus, who is the God the Son. So it's triple, it's the trinity. That's why it's called the trinity, because there are three souls in that one body. Also check out our video, which is about what happens when a person dies. They are interrelated to the seven dimensions of the universe. This is Rob Brenda.